right, you guys, I am back, and I am here with the thrift haul from the Salvation Army. All right, guys, I am back home from the Salvation Army now, and I'm going to show you exactly what I got in one item. Made my whole day, not cost-wise, but nostalgia-wise. You'll see why. All right, you guys, so for starters, this one item right here should pay for the entire transaction. I spent $27 and change. I only bought one thing for myself, everything else is to be sold, and that one thing might even get sold. If it doesn't get sold fast, I'm not worried about it because it made my day complete from nostalgia wise, like I said. So to start off, I had this Brooks Brothers blazer. That's 100% wool, pockets on the side. By the way, I did mop my floor earlier with Fabuloso, lavender scent, my favorite. Like I said, it's 100% wool. The store was 50% off the entire store. So this is like, it was $9.99, then she took off $5, so it was like $4.99, into $40, $44, making a $40 profit on this jacket. This next item, I didn't do any comps for, but I heard, a really, I heard really good things about this brand. Cool, K-U-H-L. And a little hyphen or whatever you want to call it, two dots above the U. So I picked it up anyways. It's the first thing I've ever picked up from them. We will see how this goes. And if it goes good, I might continue to buy their merchandise to resell. To resell. This next item I'm going to show you, I want to give you a little story on. I saw this a couple of days ago in the store. Didn't pick it up. I said to myself, you know what? If it's there on Monday when it's half off the entire store... I'll pick it up. It was originally $5.99, so I'm sure I paid like $2.99 for it. Reason being for why I did not pick it up in the first place was it's a kid's item. I don't pick up kid's items too much unless I'm picking them up for my son because they just don't sell. But this here is a vintage pair of overalls, and I'm going to give you a quick look and then explain it. So these are a vintage pair of... 101 or 102 Dalmatians. I believe it says it on the tag. Where is the tag? It is 102 Dalmatians. There were no sold comps on eBay, but I sell on a kids app called Kidizen, which I will have tagged down below. So if you guys want to go ahead and buy these, I'm not sure what I'm going to list them at. I will see, but it's a girl size 7. So as you can see, there is nothing on the back. On the front, you have one of the Dalmatians right here with the flowers. It's so cute, guys. So what actually drew me to these pants was across the room, I had seen this one print. I had seen this little, I want to say it's a Dalmatian, down the corner with the flowers. And at first, I think I had actually just seen the flowers. I was like, oh, that's cute. Flowers on jeans. So I went over, I checked it out. And it had the Dalmatian on there. So I was like, ooh, that's awesome. Then I looked at the top. I was like, okay, that's definitely 102 Dalmatians. I didn't notice it with the bottom one. Just because of the fact that, as you can see, there are not spots in that Dalmatian. If you guys happen to know this character's name, leave a comment down below, please. But I saw these and then I was like, okay, these have to be vintage. There's just no way these aren't vintage. I looked at the tag on the back, 102 Dalmatians, and I don't believe it says a year on here. But I mean, this looks like brand new. New without tag. 100% cotton, there's UPC. So that's that. I'm hoping to get 25 out of these. I don't even know if I've said that already. But I am hoping to get 20, at least 25 out of these. Okay, where are my sports fans at? I'm personally not a sports fan. But anyways, where are my sports fans at? Because this one's for you. A genuine merchandise Red Sox jacket. I'm hoping to get about 40 to 45 out of this. It was $9.99 before the 50% off. So it was like $4.99. Just because of the weight on this and the bulkiness. I plan on listing this on Poshmark for about a week. And then if it doesn't sell... Um, transferring it over to eBay and Macari because if you are not aware on Poshmark everything has to be sent out in priority boxes 
I'd rather send this out in a priority box and fold it up nicely than just shove it into a mailer. I'm not gonna lie. However, if it doesn't sell within a week on Poshmark, I will be transferring it over to eBay Macari while we're still keeping it on Poshmark. With the hopes that it doesn't sell in there and it sells on Poshmark instead. I didn't even show you this. You get the Boston Red Sox label, icon, logo, whatever you want to call it in the back. And then you get like what I call the cinched waist when it's got like an elastic band around the waist. This next item I saw as I was checking out, as you're checking out on like a regular clothing rail, whatever you want to call it, they have a rack just for returns. So this is, it was a return that somebody decided they didn't want to buy. They do not accept returns. But they do put it out there in case you're shopping and then last minute you're like, yeah, I don't want this. Instead of just leaving it anywhere, you can leave it there. I want to say I can get about 30 to 40 for this. It's a Calvin Klein Performance jacket vest, I guess. I'll have to look up the actual term for it. But just the texture and the color it just like stood out to me. Lately, I've been going more towards fashion-wise for like candy colors, burgundy, bright blue. Think of like M&M's colors or like chocolate colors. Just because the Willy Wonka movie's coming out in a month, month and a half, I don't know when in December it's coming out. I think it might be coming out on Christmas, I heard. I'm not sure about that. But I've been holding off to those type of colors to hope that they will sell as people want to wear that type of stuff to the movies. I mean, I wish you guys could feel this because this vest, if it was in my size, I would totally wear it. It's so, I don't want to say soft, but smooth, like buttery smooth. I don't know if I told you guys that, but that was $9.99 minus $5, oh, it's $4.99. There were two of these there. I only picked up one because I'm not sure how it's going to sell. It's an authentic Disney theme park Tigger, plush Tigger with Tig. I looked up. Comps are saying $15.99, so I probably pay $1.99 for it. It's very soft as well. It's very soft and fuzzy, if you guys can see. But I mean, it's cute. And I figured it would sell. It's come, Christmas time is coming up. Things with tags will probably be selling like crazy. So, and <laughs> I didn't even know it's got the, the teal all scrunched up like that's adorable. This is from Disneyland. Oh, and Walt Disney World. Okay. I was just looking at the tag on the back. You guys can see that. So, that is that. Okay, so now for the most exciting part that I secretly want to keep for myself, to keep this for myself, but I'm going to try and sell it. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. Think back to the year 2000, when we had all of our good animation movies. Rugrats in Paris. Tommy and Dill Pickles Burger King Watch. I don't know if you guys can see out there, but it says Burger King. It's very, very small. It doesn't smell like Burger King, unfortunately, but... <laughs> it's in perfect condition. I don't know how to turn it on, but I will figure that out, and I will leave a comment down below if it does work. If not, I will sell it as not working, and it will take longer to sell, which just means I get to keep it for that much longer. I was a diehard, I'm still a diehard Rugrats fan. Absolutely love the Rugrats. I'm not a, really a fan of the newer version. I'm a fan of the older version, just because that's what I grew up on, I think. And it's just what I prefer. 